Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mid Pokemaster here today with something a little bit different. We are back in the BBL, the Banless Battlers League. If you don't know me, or if you've known my channel, you know, recently I've had a big blow up since, you know, the last time I've done Draft League. I am mainly a Draft League content creator. So before we get any further into what Draft League is, what BBL is, and why there's a Genesec on my screen, make sure to like and subscribe and click that bell in the top right corner if you want notification whenever I upload. So I believe this is BBL Season 8. Season 8, that is insane. I've been watching this league for years. I remember when the Season 1 applications came out. So it's just insane that we are back in the BBL. So BBL, it is ran by Olivia Sama, a good pal of mine. She's done so many great things for the community. She's helped, you know, me become a better content creator with, you know, thumbnails, um, custom shinies, and just so much more. So please make sure to check her out. Link will be down below in the description. I don't know if it's in the normal description because she's not a coach this season, but I will make sure to put her down below in all my descriptions. So this is a draft league. So if you don't know what draft league is, it's like draft football, you know, where like you draft so many different players, you know, build teams, you know, to you know get as many points as possible every week. But this is in Pokemon, so basically we draft, let me see how many Mons, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I believe it was like 10 to 12 or 9 to 12 Mons, we got, let me see how many points, I should have done this beforehand, we got 130 points to draft 10 to 12 Mons, which is a lot, but you also have to remember, we have an Ubers, so unlike most draft leaks, ban a lot of like the uber pokemon just because you know they're a lot of them are impossible to prep for and it's just not you know very balanced it's like why i use the standard meta game and ubers isn't but bbl is known for allowing ubers you get you know max points for non ubers is i believe 17 points and then there's tiers 24 through 18 for ubers so you can drive up to two ubers but your two Ubers, like, points totals can't add up to, I believe, let me see, because, so basically, if you, if you draft a 24-point Uber, you cannot draft another Uber. The max points of an Uber, I believe, is 42, which is, you know, totally fair, because if you drafted, like, a Marshadow with, like, an Urshifu, who has switches to those, like, both those ones in this team, or, like, a Zekrom and a Zamazenta Crown or Cinderace, like, it's just not beatable. Which is very unfair, so. We got a very late round one pick. I believe we were... Let me see how many coaches are in this. Or let me just even look at my draft analysis. So, we were at... We were 11th pick out of 12, so. There are 12 coaches in this league. All the links to their YouTube channels will be down below in the description. So please make sure to check them out. I know pretty much everybody in this league. I believe there's two people in this league I've never talked to before. But they are all amazing people, so make sure to check out, you know, all of them down below in the description. So, I have played in BBL Wi-Fi once before, and I played in, a, I believe, two seasons of the Showdown, Showdown Division. I can't talk today, so this will be our fourth total season of BBL. We played in the first two, we played in two semi-early Showdown seasons. We played in Wi-Fi Season 6, and now we are in Season 8. So, one mon that I absolutely wanted to use this gen because I have not used it since Academy Season 2, APA Academy, is Genesect. I had that, we did like a Uber Season, and that was just one of my favorite ones I've ever used in the league. It is based 99 speed. It is known for being a great Scarfer because it just doesn't have switch-ins. Let me look at, let me pull up its base stat total. It has 71 HP, 120 attack and sexual attack, 95 in both defense and speed up and 99 speed. This mod just hits so incredibly hard, especially with that download. So my opponents have like a Spidef Mon to deal with a my later Uber that you'll see next round. I'll get an attack boost and my u turns will be hitting so much harder. It's a great fairy killer with Iron Head. It gets so much coverage being, you know, Bug Buzz, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt. Does it even get Thunderbolt? It does. Does it get Ice Beam? I don't think it does. It does. This one just gets any sort of coverage. It's just impossible to switch into. And it even gets physical moves like Blaze Kick, like Gunk Shot, I didn't know that, Leech Life, Quick attack, Shadow Claw. This one just is impossible to have, you know, an amazing check to. Because you don't know if I'm going to be physical or special or mixed. You know, it's a great revenge killer just because it hits so hard. And with the 99 speed, 
it also needs a lot of like you know setup sweepers you know like a haxorus or a dragonite so this one just hits so unbelievably hard and it's not the best sweeper that's why it was at 19 points it's one of those ones that's like if it was like um an s tier league like sdl not sdl um sbl or i can't remember what that league was that was like the last wi-fi league we did sbu that mom was allowed because it's not absolutely broken it's just hard to deal with but it is beatable but it's an enabler for our next uber we got kiram white i could have waited till way later on to get an uber because i could have talked to the other people that was like oh you know so many people already gra drafted you know their 24 or 23 point uber so it's impossible impossible for them to draft the 22 point uber kiram white but i just wanted to go ahead and get it just to cure it so nobody could snipe it like josh or ultra well, Josh, you know, Ultra Player, the same thing. Josh, or like Matt O'Shea. But Kieran White is a mod that I'm super excited to use. This mod is just impossible to switch into. It's not as good as, obviously, as the 24, 23 point Ubers, but this mod is something I feel like I can be very comfortable with. Because this mod just has absolutely no switch ins. Base 170 special attack. 170. That is so incredibly high. And it gets access to free stray this gen. But before, the best way of beating this mod was a bulky water type because it struggled to break them but now i get a stab super effective way of killing those water types that um, that before could be me now the best way of beating this one is with like a spadef fairy type but i have a genesect that can just come in and click iron head on you and just absolutely nuke you which i'm very happy about this hero might is based 95 speed 125 hp 120 attacks so like i can even run physically offensive and not have to worry about me not doing a lot of damage because that mine 120 attack is still so much that is so very high with 90 defense 100 spit f so this one can do so many different things it can be choice specs choice scarf even choice band it can be dragon dance sweeper like sub toxic roost and with heavy duty boost where i don't take rocks damage anymore it is so unbelievably good this one just has so many different ways of just beating its checks now it even has flash cannon and i believe iron head and iron head so i could be like dd iron heads so like and my opponents have like a Spadef Clefable to deal with Kieran White. I could be DD Ironhead and beat it. And it just naturally lives so many hits, so I'm not worried about like a fairy type coming in and one hit KOing me. Because if it one hit KOs me, that means it's offensive and it's not taking, you know, these specs hits like I'm running. So this one is just an absolute wall breaker and it fits my playstyle. I very much like pivoting mons, you know, like strong pivot mons like Genesic to bring in my, you know, offensive threats. In a league on one, the PMU. I had a um, Mega Medicamp with so much pivoting like Scizor and Coco, so Mega Medicamp could just come in and just click a button and claim a kill every time it came in. This is just a mod that I'm sure I'm going to be very comfortable with and I'm going to absolutely love by the end of the season, even though I've never used it before. So next up, I got my boy Slowbro. Genesic and Chrome White both destroy grass types, so they might- I won't be surprised if I never see a grass type in this league because my first two uber picks destroy them and i cannot pick any more ubers because i have genesis to cure white so that is just you know off the table so my boy slowbro i don't think i've ever actually drafted slowbro i enjoyed slow king when i had it i believe it might have been upba i'm not exactly for sure but this one i'm sure it's gonna flip my playstyle too it's a fat hitting mon that can actually do some serious damage because it just you know let me look at its base stat total real quick but this one got such a big buff this gen with teleport it's always had it but now that it's actually a pivoting move you know i take that damage and then i pivot out you know heal up re regenerator is absolutely insane so it has base 95 hp 75 attack which we won't use 100 defense 100 special attack 80 speed f and 30 speed so nobody cares about speed on slow bro that's just not something you prep for but base 100 defense with 95 hp and 80 speed up is nothing to joke about this one can take so many physical hits it deals with the fighting types that i otherwise struggled with before it there was another reason why i drafted it but it's just so nice because it gives me that pivoting into here white or genesis to break you know it just takes so many of those hits you know fire types actually that's another reason Usually, your dragon helps you deal with fire types, but since my dragon is part of ice, it is neutral, and Genesic is four times weak to ice, not ice, fire. So, Slowbro is very nice here. And Genesic is four times resistance, and Kiramod is, I believe, are all four times resistant to grass types. 
so that's not going to be a way of, you know, really dealing with this slow bro. But this one can just put in the absolute finest of work any match it comes in. Just because it'll take those hits, teleport out, I can fish for Scald Burns, Future Sight, so like, in my opponent, I click Future Sight, teleport out, bring in Genesect, and then my opponent tries to switch out. I'm going to hit them super hard with an Iron Head or a U-Turn, and then they take Future Sight. Because the best ways to deal with Future Sight, Slowbro, is with a Dark type. But with a Genesect that can just come in and U-Turn out on them, that is absolutely fine in my opinion. Because that just gives Genesect more kills and more damage on whatever comes in. So Slowbro is very nice on this team. As I said before, it gives me that nice pivoting momentum. And it just is a very bulky pivot to deal with, you know, my opponent's opposing offense. So next up, I wanted to finish off my Fairy Dragon Steel Core. I feel like that's very important in an Uber's format where dragons are very you know rampant you know there's like Zekrom there's Zygarde complete there's Rayquaza how did I forget about Rayquaza I had that last BBL season and I absolutely loved it so this mon is just gonna be absolutely amazing on this team you know with that very dragon steel core gives me another momentum user with baton pass so you know I can baton pass out into that Kieran Wider Genesec that's like the whole point of this team is you know, bring momentum heavy while still taking kids and dealing massive damage. Because Sylveon is a massive wall breaker in its own right. It has base 110 special attack with that pixelate ability. So choice specs, hyper voice, one shots to two shots, most mons on, you know, just in the meta outside of like a bulky steel type. But now this one gets mystical fire, which is stronger than the hidden power of fire it had last gen. So this one just hits that much harder and it just pairs amazing with this team so far. And it's great wish support into that Genesect or Kirin White or even Slowbro if you know it gets whittled down and regenerator is not helping much. So Sylveon with like Wish Protect, Hyper Voice, Toxic, Heal Bell. It gives me a status remover, which is absolutely amazing. This mod is just it's Sylveon's one of my favorite mods to use in draft league, especially as my fairy type. So I'm I am so unbe unbelievably excited to use it. So I haven't really been mentioning it, but I kind of pick in cores whenever I'm drafting because I'm such a late run. I'm 11 out of 12. So I basically pick one mon, wait two months, and then pick another mon. So it's like, I kind of just draft like two months together that pair super well. So like Genesect, Chrome White, I kind of knew I wanted those together, so I got it. Slowbro and Sylveon felt like they were super good together to be drafted, and there was no way they were coming back because, you know, I only wait two picks between, you know, one and two and then three and four. But then I have to wait, you know, like 20 plus picks. You know between you know round four and round five so i get what i want now so i don't have to risk being sniped because that's so many months that are gone that i can't really prep around that so next up we wait like 20 odd picks we get con kelder con kelder is one of my favorite mods to use in draft league i've used it three times i had it in ncp season three loved it there had it in my championship team in apa ascension which is you know the showdown divisions absolutely loved it there and now I'm having it here in BBL because this mod I felt like was super useful. I currently struggle with, you know, bulky steel types. You know, Kieran White doesn't like them. Slowbro doesn't like them. Genesect is okay with them because, like, I can flamethrower, you know, Techno Blast, Fire, or, like, Blaze Kick. But still not absolutely appreciated. But Con Kelder, I felt like was an amazing fit here. With that base, I believe it's 140 attack. This mod just has absolutely no switching, like, bulky psychics can, but I have a Genesect. And a Kieran White, you know, can just destroy most mons. So, but Con Kelder with that base 140 attack just absolutely destroys those, you know, steel types. With Guts, so like, a good way of beating Slow Bros with Toxic. So if I think a Toxic is coming out, I can bring out my Con Kelder and get a Guts boost and just absolutely, you know, destroy it. Because, you know, if your status with the Guts Pokemon, your attack is multiplied by 1.5. So let's just say at level 50, a max attack out of it which I very well will be most weeks. That's 211 attack. So 211 times 1.5 is 316. That is such an incredibly big attack. And paired with Facade, which is base 140 when you are burned, poisoned, or paralyzed, that just does even more damage. So this one is just, I feel like, as I've said before multiple times, it's just the perfect Rondo here this team that struggles with steel types. Just no steel type can comfortably come. And I can even be like Iron Fist or Sheer Force. So like Sheer Force with like, you know, Elemental Punches, Rock Slide does a lot. And then Iron Fist, you know, Elemental Punches again, Drain Punch, Lock Punch to, you know, just get that little bit of damage off. 
is so incredibly nice and I just feel like this one pairs perfectly with this team. So next up, we got Crobat. I'm very iffy about Crobat. I could very easily drop it at some point, but I needed, I like this V tier. I wanted another hazard mover because right now I have two. Conkelder and Crobat. Conkelder does not count with Defog because you will never see me run Defog on Kilder as that's just not a valuable move on that mod. But we have Crobat with base 130 speed, so that's blistering fast. That is our fastest mod. Because speed tiers was also something we struggled with because before that, our fastest mod was Genesect, which is only base 99, which is pretty fast with a choice guard, but just not fast enough to make your opponents really worry. So usually you want something so like the base 130s like Tapu Koko can't run Modest or Adamant. It wasn't even so base 115s can't run Monster Adamant. So, and it gives us a ground immunity because otherwise we lost like a Lando T with Earthquake or a Garchomp with Earthquake as it could just run Bandit and kill everything. But my boy Crobat gives us that, you know, ground type immunity, gives us a Defogger, very fast mom, good Stallbreaker mom with like Taunt, Roost, Super Fang, you know, whatever fourth move I want. If it's U turn, Defog, whatever. Crobat is very nice. It's a mod that I haven't used very much, especially not this gen at all. So I'm curious if I like it. I might drop it. You know, might not stay on the team forever. I'm not usually a big person with transactions because, like, in my mind, if I draft a mod, I want to succeed with it, even if it's not the best. But I could very see easily see myself dropping Crobat as it's not the greatest mod. So I got a Lone Persian next round. A Lone Persian is one of my favorite mods to use overall. People talk about how awful it is, but it's personally one of my favorite. It gives you a dark type, which every team needs. Because if you don't have a bulky dark type, your opponents can run up with like a combine iron defense or Uniclus, and you just can't beat it as it's, you know, sending up all over you. Because it can be like combined iron defense, you know, psychic recover, and you can't beat that. But with a dark type, your opponents are forced to run more than one, you know, offensive move that's not psychic. So if I'm forcing them to run focus ones, they're either not recover or they're not one of their setup moves, which is very nice. And it's another fast one at base 115. And this is a mod you might see most weeks, even though it's not the greatest, as I am just super comfortable with it. Because you can run parting shot out, you can run parting shot, you know, lower your opponent's attack and special attack. So, you know, making them not as strong and then come up with a setup sweeper, which is another offensive mod. As you can tell, I love my pivoting. Almost every mod on my team has pivoting outside of Kirim White and Conkelder. And those are the two wall breakers, so that is absolutely fine. So, it give, also gives me a taunt user, so you know if my opponents are setting up or I don't want them to click like a recovery move like soft load or boost or like hazards, I can taunt them so they can't set those up. Parting shot out knockoff user, which is great, you know, knocking off my opponent's item so, you know, they don't have their leftovers or like their, you know, whatever item. I don't care. This mod is just something I'm super comfortable, I am super comfortable with. It might not be the greatest mod, but it's just something... It's just a mod that I absolutely love and would draft it every time if I could. I never get tired of using this mod, and then you can run the same 4-5 to five moves every week. So next up, we got Rhyperior. We absolutely needed a ground type and a Stealth Rock user. If you don't have a ground type, electric types can just run through and you can like a Choice Band Zero Aura, or you know like a Coco just running Choice Specs Volt or Thunderbolt, and there's just nothing you can do. So Rhyperior is the definition of guaranteed stealth rocks as it can live one of pretty much any hit even like some like non stab super effective hits because it does have these solid rock abilities so that means this Pokemon receives three fourths of the damage from super effective attacks so it just takes so many of those hits and it's actually a great wall breaker in its own right with base 115 hp with 140 attack with you know edgequake being like one of the best like combo moves in the game as there's not very many mods that resist or immune to both of them. I don't think any mods like is like resist to both of them. So, you know, Edgequick just hits very hard. 130 defense is just one H 115 HP with that 130 defense stat. It's just nothing to complain about. It's just so hard to break and it just hits so absolutely hard. And I'm so excited to use it. You'll see me run stealth arcs on it. You'll see me if I face like a terrifying electric type that I feel like could destroy me. Like week one, I fight Q the Costa Rican, my boy. That man always beats me. We always fight week one or two of leagues. It just happens every time, no matter what, for some reason. And we're in a lot of leagues together. So there will be some times where we're like, hey, you want to battle? You want, we have two battles this week. Do you want to battle both of this time or one one day, one the other? So, but he has a Zapdos, which I'm absolutely terrified of. 
So you will be seeing Rhyperior as otherwise look at my team and look how it beats me. It just destroys me. So Rhyperior is the guaranteed definition of Stealth Rocks and I'm excited to use it. Next up we have Thunderous Incarnate because some of my friends like Jesse Fabricor and Ojo Bina said a lowland Persian does not count as 115 speed and they will not respect it. And you know that sucks for them because I will bring a lowland Persian every week and that's a good speed tier. But also I got Thunderous Incarnate, you know, gives me a good, you know, offensive, you know, especially offensive mon. Hits very, very hard with that base 125 special attack. Can also be mixed, you know, fizz death with like bulk up superpower. But it's one of the few electric types that can actually hit ground types. Because it has Grass Knight. And you know, Nasty Plot Agility is a very good set, double dance. Can also be a good, you know, prankster user with T-Wave and Defog. I'm, I don't see myself being super weak to hazards as you can just run boost this gen. And like, Kieran White, yeah, I, I can see myself running boots quite a bit. You know, like, hazard stacking with like spikes is like the only very annoying thing I feel like is on this team. But, you know, I have three defog users, one doesn't count in Clank Counter, but Crobat and Thunderous are very nice. And my team's just so offensive that if my opponents are clicking spikes, then they are just taking, you know, they're going to be taking so much more damage from my offensive mons, like Con Killed or like Kieran White, like Genesect. So this one is something I have not used ever, and I might drop it. Because, as you see now, my way of dealing with fairy types is Genesect, and that's not a very good, you know, switch in, so I might drop it for another one that's still on the board. Don't want to say it in case any of my, you know, other coaches in the league are watching and might want to take it. So, next up, we got my boy Thwacky. We had five points left, and I just wanted to get Thwacky, my boy. This one is just, it's amazing. I saw my boy Josh, aka Ultra Player, use it to KO. A G Max Venusaur, a G Max Venusaur. He beat a G Max Venusaur with Thwacky. I just didn't know that was possible, but he figured out a way to do it. And I actually like Thwacky more than I like Rillaboom. This is the Zapdos counter, if you know, you know. But just Choice Rain Grassy Glide hits so hard. It's only base 85 attack, which like isn't awful for a starter. You know, like a mid evolution starter. It gives me another way of breaking bulky, bulky water types. It gives me a U turn user. And I don't have the best way of dealing with ground types, so that grassy surge, you know, is very useful. You know, learning those ground type, you know, attacks. So, if I bring Thwacky one game this season in a Uber's meta, I'm fine with that. So, to finish off the draft, we have the boy, Young Diglett. We had one point left, and this mod actually just fit perfectly. It gives me another Stealth Rock user. It's base 95 speed, so it's incredibly fast. Speed ties cure might, only 55 attack, but. It gives me a way of trapping steel types, which Kieran White very much appreciates, which I can't talk. Kieran White appreciates, Slowbro appreciates, Genesect appreciates, and Sylveon appreciates. This mod is absolutely insane for a one point mod in an Uber's metagame. Because with the Arena Trap, I trap my opponents, I can hit them with an Earthquake. I might not kill, but I'll get a very good amount of damage off. So that is my team. This is a nine week season, so you know, comment down below what how you think I'll do. Like, do you think I'll go nine and oh? 0 and 9. I'm expecting to go like 5 and 4, 6 and 3. I can see myself struggling with this team, but also absolutely doing amazing with it. You know, still making playoffs. As I believe top 8 coaches make playoffs, so that would, that helps our odds even more. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.